Welcome to another day in the study of God's word. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. Restore us, O God. Cause your face to shine and we shall be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long will you be angry against the prayer of your people? You have fed them with the bread of tears and given them tears to drink in great measure. You have made us a strife to our neighbors and our enemies laugh among themselves. Welcome again to the Word of God. My name is Dwayne, and today's lesson is going to be a blessing, the parable of the Lord's vine. If you read on in this Psalm, this is Psalm 80. If you read in Psalm 80, the Bible says that God took a vine. He, he pulled it up from the roots out of Egypt. That's God's people in captivity. God took them out of Egypt. And then planted them in the, prom in the promised land. And you know how it is when a vine, a vineyard is planted and a vine dresser is tending it. It's care. It's watered. It, it, it's protected. It's the, 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 all, anything that's growing that shouldn't be there is, is pulled up and taken out. A vine is cared for and God cared for his vine and blessed his vine. But the Bible tells us in the book of Jeremiah that, 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 that God planted this vine, but now is wondering how did this vine become wayward? How did this vine get off growing in the wrong direction? What happened to this vine? So much so that in the book of Isaiah, the Bible says that God has to uh, 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 trim and prune this vine. And God pronounces great judgments against his people. And sometimes has to put them in derision and in difficulty and in pain. But God will not hold his anger forever. And so in this Psalm, Psalm 80, the psalmist is pleading, Lord, come back. Come back, God. Come back. Come back. Come back. We messed up. It's bad, but would you come back? And God is the God who comes back. Like a love-starved teenage girl, God hears the cry. He cries for his people just like they cry for him. His heart is moved with compassion because he loves them. We are his vine. We are his tender shoot. We are meant to grow and to flourish, but that flourishment and that growth is predicated on obedience to his word and on faithfulness to his, his, his cause and to his word. So that's our message for today. It's very simple. He'll come back. He'll come back. He wants to come back. We are his tender shoot, his precious vineyard. He'll come back. But will we come back? Will we come back? Will we come back to him? That's the question. And I pray that we answer it in the affirmative today. Yes. Yes, Lord. Come to me, I come to you. God bless you.